Happy Friday, English 9 students. Today is October 2nd, 2020, and you should be watching this hopefully on Friday morning and not Monday morning. Um, just a reminder, your speech draft needs to be completed before you show up to class next Monday, October 5th. Uh, the due date on Schoology says Friday, which is today, by 10.50 a.m., and like I told many of you who showed up to your small group meetings this week, is that there's a little flexibility. Um, I want you to work today during this entire two hour class to get as much as done as possible. And if you can turn it in, great. If you need to work on the weekend a little, you can do that, but I prefer not to give you homework over the weekend. So if you choose to use your time that way, that's okay. Just make sure that your completed draft of your speech is done by next Monday because we we're, you're going to need it. Um, remember, there's no specific organization. Um, there just needs to be a beginning, middle and end. It's around 500 words or so, and you just got to get it all out on the computer so that you have something to work with next week. Next week is session three in unit two. It the dates are October 5th through October 9th. Um, these are all the things we're going to have to do next week. So on Monday, I'm going to talk about how you're going to chop up your speech because there's a certain type of format in order to do an Ignite speech. You're also going to work on Google Slideshow and you're going to find 20 images. I will talk about that next week and how you're going to create that. You're also going to be recording. You're going to look at a recording platform tutorial. So I have to teach you how to do essentially what I'm doing right here, where you can see my slides and then I'm talking to you as I'm presenting the information. So I'm going to do a tutorial to teach you how you're going to do that. And then next week as well, you're going to be practicing and then eventually recording your speech because it will be due the following week. So this is everything that we will be doing next week. So Please make sure your draft is done when you show up to class next Monday, otherwise you're going to get really behind. Live group session on Google Meet Monday, October 5th at 9 a.m. Everybody, every single one of you needs to show up to our live group session next Monday, October 5th at 9 a.m., not at 8.50 a.m. I'm bumping it to 9 a.m. because my son has something in the morning that I need to take care of that day. So I will see you at 9 a.m. October 5th on our Google Meet link. If you don't know where it is, again, I will show you because some of you keep asking. You go to Materials and Schoology and it says Google Meet link. You click this and then you click it again at the top and it opens up our class. All right. OK, so I will see all of you October 5th at 9 a.m. There are no small group meetings next Wednesday and Thursday. Um, some of you haven't shown up to one yet. Um, hopefully you'll start to figure out the pattern, but next week I'm actually canceling all small group meetings. It's because we're supposed to have parent teacher conferences next Wednesday, next Thursday, next Friday, and they still have not told us the format yet. So with that said, I might be busy during the day meeting with parents. Um, and so, you're just gonna be working asynchronously. So the only time we're meeting live next week, all together as a group is on Monday. All of the other days are gonna be drop-in days where I'll be sitting on my computer waiting for anyone to drop in to our class on the Google Meet link and I can help you. So no small group meetings next week. This is what next week looks like. Um, so Monday through Friday, Monday is a synchronous day. We're doing a live session on Google Meet at 9 a.m. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as you can see, are all asynchronous. You're gonna be working on all of those things that I discussed in Schoology, but I will have the Google Meet link to our classroom open from 8.50 to 10.50, because that's when our class is, so you can drop in and ask me questions at any time. I wanna show you I'm doing something a little different with Schoology next week. So when you go to materials on next Monday, and you go to unit two, you go to session three, because here's the dates, 10-5 through 10-9. When you click on this, you're going to see that I made folders. And when you click on a folder, it's going to, so the idea is this is the stuff you should do on Monday. This is the stuff you should do on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so on and so forth. Are you allowed to work ahead? 
Of course you are. It appears that some students are getting confused with the pacing, even when I create a pacing schedule. So I thought maybe it'd be easier if I created folders for each day. You can just click on that folder and you know that's the stuff you need to get done for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. But you are always welcome to work ahead. First quarter ends October 15th. That is only 15 days away. Um, so I sent home emails to students and parents. If you had a D or lower in my class, you do not want to fail English as a freshman because you will have to retake first quarter as a sophomore. Um, so if you have any missing work, I'm being lenient right now and I will still take that work for partial credit. So please get that turned in and then email me and let me know when you've done that and I'm happy to grade it and get that in the grade book. Um, all of that needs to be done before October 13th because my grades are due the 15th. So I need to be able to get that stuff graded. So if you're missing a lot of assignments, work on those missing assignments a little bit by little bit over the course of the next two weeks. Um, if you're rocking it and you have a high score, you're not missing any assignments, then just disregard this slide. And then I think that's it. Yeah, so um, that's my Friday announcement. Thank you for everyone that's being patient with me. Um, honestly, it's been a really hard week. It's, it's really hard to return emails and try to get work done when I can only really function with one hand right now. So I really appreciate everyone's encouragement and I appreciate everyone's patience. I hope you guys have a really good weekend.